All right, there, man. Plastic peeps. Plastic junkies back with the second video of this day. Uh, I found other stuff besides horror stuff. I found also all the new stuff. So I'm doing all the new stuff that I found. I picked up these just recently, not too long ago. The Masters Universe, the ones from Super 7. I found Tila. Yep, there she is with her staff, with her snake staff. Hold on. I'm gonna just go a little bit here. Yep, there's Tila. In the back, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 now to collect. Collect them all. I'm trying. I'm having a hard time finding all of them. Like, literally, like, I like them. Uh, they're five point uh, five points of articulation. I like them, but unfortunately, I don't find them all. I found Tila. I found Zodak, Cosmic Enforcer. Tila is called the Warrior God G Goddess. Goddess? Yeah, Warrior Goddess. Tila, Warrior Goddess action figure. Zodak, Cosmic Enforcer action figure with his gun. The guns, the guns taped that in the back. I really like the art. I give the art itself on all of them five on five. I give the packaging a four on five. Uh, I find it's a little bit fr frag fragilis, fragile, and I give the figures themselves for them trying out for doing their best. I give it a three point three and a half on five. Here's Stratus, Stratos, winged warrior action figure. With his wings, he doesn't come with no weapon at all. His wings are not detachable, like the old figures. I mean, I, I give him a three on five. Here's uh, Battle Armor He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe, action figure. Man, you look, huh? Weird. Yeah. And then I have uh, Battle Armor Skeletor, Evil Lord of Deception, action figure. <laughs> And what else do I have? Then I got, uh, I picked up these two Glow in the Dark exclusives. And I paid about mm, $25 each, which was perfect. Here's Man at Arms, Glows in the Dark. Heroic Master of Weapons. And here is He Man, the most powerful man in the universe with a power sword that glows in the dark. Ding, ding, ding. What else did I pick up? I picked up a nice new figure from Kiss. Destroyer, the demon, under license to uh, uh, Epic Rights, Figures Toy Company, about 8 inch, 8 inch type Meagle type doll, love the costume, love the boots, give this a 5 on 5, all the golden dark ones, I give them both 5 on 5, yeah I love these figures, I love, if you know me, Plastic Junkie, I love golden dark figures, having Java with me, that's why it's helping me, and again I apologize not being, uh, See, it says even a little kiss sign right there. You see, you can see it? Yeah. In the back, you see all four of the members of KISS. Come, uh, check out more 8 and 12 inch figures from the Incredible Albums. Cool. This came out in 2017. I like that. Then I picked up a giant Garfield. That'd be 10 balls for him. Uh, didn't have no, the tag, no tag. So it's about 1980, 1980s. Love that. I give it a 5 on 5 because I love Garfield. I always did. I picked up this nice uh, split series series of, uh, of what's it called? Of uh, mask. No figure. No, this missing a piece here, but I don't care. I paid 10 bucks for it. I bought it right away off a friend of mine. Or off the toy guy. Super nice. What else did I pick up? I picked up this small little Japanese alien. Warning, alien is here. Translucent alien. Let's see if I could open it. Show you the box first. Box. This is from Super Seven. Uh, secret base in space. No one can hear you scream. No kidding. Let's open this. It's a glow in the dark. It's a. It's like the figures that they are on, on my wall that I have of the alien from uh, Reaction. Here's a transparent alien. There is all his glory with his mouth sticking out. Beautiful figure. Very rare. Uh, they didn't make a lot of these. This was exclusive only at um, in Japan. Yeah. Beautiful figure. They give that a five on five. What else did I pick up? Oh, I picked up 
a record of Masters of the Universe, He-Man and Battle Cat. Read along. He-Man and Battle Cat. This is this is your Masters of the Universe read along book. Every time you hear this sound, it means that it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Uh no. Nah. Anyways, here we go. Kid stuff. This came out in pay ten dollars. 1983. The record's here. In perfect shape. And it's in color. No, in black and white. Black and white. So that's not bad. Yeah, I give this a 5 on 5. I love stuff like this. Yeah, it's different. What else? Here's Master Universe Super uh, Adventure Book. This one's all in color. Each one has its own number, like on the top it says, I have number 11370. Uh, one, this one's called uh, Mask of Evil. You could see a uh, merman holding a princess. Then there's, I have Master Universe Time Trouble. That's, I, give, I give all of these a uh, 5 on 5. All of them. This one is, at the golden books are called. 11,371. Uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, they came out in 1984. Then I have number 11,793, the, the Thief of Castle Grey, Grey Skull. Back, this one's blue in the back, here on the red. Then I have Master Universe number 11,792, 11, uh, The Sword of Skeletor. Well, look at, uh, look at Man at Arms, he has no beard, no nothing, he has nothing. He has nothing on, not even a mustache, that's cool. Even in the book he has no beard, nothing. Let's see if I can find a picture of Man at Arms. Yeah, there you go, you see? Nothing there. And the last book I found was uh, 11,795 Master Universe Super Avenger books, a golden Super Avenger books, The Trap. To trap a skeleton, it's blue in the back. Then I found a bunch of Welcome Back Carter dolls. Welcome back. Da -da. I traded this. I found all of them. Welcome Back Carter and the Sweat Hogs. I have Mr. Cotter, oh Mr. Cotter, Mr. Cotter. I have uh, Epstein. This is John Travolta, I forgot his name. Oh, Vinnie Barbarino. Here is, I forgot his name. Anyways, I forgot their names, but you know, here they are, all their glories. They're Meagle, they came out in the 80s. Mm, yeah, I think 70s or 80s, I'm not too sure. Let's check on the need. No, 1973, 1973, sorry. My bad. And it comes with the locker I have. You can't lock it, but look at that. That's a sweat hog locker. Missing the handle, but that's cool. I gave all of them a 5 on 5. I used to love that watching that show when I was a kid. I used to watch it with my mom when she was alive. And I enjoyed uh, watching TV with my parents when they were alive. Uh, it was fun uh, in watching things with my parents. I found uh, other weird stuff too. I have more to, to show you. Then I found Laser Force transforms five inch, five and a half inch figures into Laser Force warriors. Still packaged. I paid forty bucks. Nice knockoff. Came out in. No date. No date. No date. Oh. Totally cool. Oh, here, 1985, Sun Gold Manufacturing Company Limited, made in Hong Kong. The Hong of the Kong. I love this shit. Love it. Then I found, ah, oh, yeah, look at this, look at this. The mask, mask mobile, still sealed. And da -da -da, pay 20 bucks. Pull out tire slasher, shooting exhaust pipes. Launching ex exhaustion seat and clobbering and, uh, and chattering and ch chopping teeth from Kenner. From Kenner. What year did it come out? Year, 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 year. It came out in 1995. Love it. Give this a four on five. Then I got two really old, old stuff. This is old, not three old ones. I got old stuff. This is an old, old, old. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is, it's called Warrior. 
Warrior. This came out in 19 books printed in Canada, other parts made in Moscow, China, and Thailand. Prepare your battle. Prepare for battle. Ins insert batteries. Pr uh, press the. That's in the back. As you can see it's white in the back. Tells you what to do with the beast. Uh, they put a dragon, dragon beast there, missing its antennas. They put w one of the good guys of sectors right there on the side. Hold on. As you can see him, the good guy. It just says warrior action set. Warrior action set. That's all it says. Comes with the weapons and the, the pack to go on the, on the dragonfly. This is come. This is for the good guy. His weapons and his um, what's it called? His uh, yeah, and his mask. And then the books are on the side there. Sectors that are, are. This is a rare piece. I paid a hundred dollars, but this thing goes for like about I'll say two to three hundred dollars. It's not common. It's a company that made a. They took the original figures of sectors and they repackaged them when they had leftovers. Not an easy piece to come by. You don't see it often. You're not going to see it ever again. It's just like that laser force I just showed you. It's you don't see it. Then I found from a humanoids. I found ex explore your vehicle. In humanoids, in humanoids, the evil that lies within. I paid sixty dollars for this. Here it is. Here's the instructions. Never been used. The pieces are all there. I never put it together. Not the instructions. Those were like uh, the things that come with. You know the stickers and uh, the the guide. That's not a guide. Like a here's the gun. It has a lot. Of, uh, the dust is free. People that buy stuff and then they know what to do with them. I find that very funny. In humanoids, in humanoids, uh, terror skull instructions. There it is in all its glory. Now I'm gonna show you the, the box. I like I like stuff like this. I really really do. Uh, I find I like finding stuff like this of friends because half the time my friends when they have stuff they don't know much to sell stuff at and the guy wanted 80 and I gave him 60 the guy took it but I offered him 60 and he took it and I like it here's the back of it a Terra Scout vehicle earth vehicle earth corpse vehicle ages 4 and up explorer vehicle for underground missions English and French it says eight dollars from Kmart. The bottom right there. There we go. See, there we go. Humanoids. Oh yeah, this is this is a nice piece. Yeah, I love it. Last but not least is like creme de la creme. This I had to show you. This I got in September of last year. Tower <coughs> of Terror. Sixty piece. A fantasy action play play set. Ages five to the, over sixty pieces. This came out, believe it or not, here in Montreal. Oh, yeah, company Place Bonaventure, Mo Montreal, Quebec. Look at that. Toy cool. This is a nice find. It comes with a little. The art on this. A ten on five. Beautiful. You can't go wrong with the art. Beautiful. Here's one of the pieces that comes with. See, those they come with. They're all PVCs and stuff like that. So I have a baggie full of good guys and some bad guys. Demons, warriors, warlocks, wizards. Here's one of the, the demon uh, dragons with one wing. It's missing a wing. Then I have all kinds of weird creatures. I have these snake kind of creatures with a head of a, of a troll or something. Pig warriors. Then I have uh, trolls. Then I have warriors, good guys. Different colors. Good warriors, smaller too. Like knights. What else do I have? Black, I have black. Oh. Demons. Ball and chain. 
And then I have this placemat that came with it too. That this is where you put your, you set up all the figures on this. It's pretty big, so I'm gonna try to open it and show you. And there it is. It's huge. This is a big piece. Uh, it's I paid like in trade. We traded sixty bucks, which I was happy with sixty dollars. It was one of my old friends that that I, I did the her her convention, my Monstre Horathon. And he wanted, we did a trade, and I love the trade we did. Rare piece, goes for a lot of money, but not in this shape. Plus Junkie out. Thank you for watching my second video of 2018. I apologize for not doing any videos, but I'm going to give you one more. I'll give you three videos for today, yeah. Stay plastic, and stay harder for life. Cheers, my peeps.